Hey folks, I wanted to give you my first impressions of the MicroJig blade clean system and show you a quick demo of how I used it, which is probably a little bit different from how you may have seen MicroJig use it, but I wanted to mention that this is not a sponsored video. I purchased this with my own money. The container itself is made of plastic and can fit a blade up to 12 inches in diameter in the bottom container. The bottom also has a 3M cleaning pad that is 13 inches in diameter to help clean the pitch and resin off of the soaking blade. It appears to be a 3M maroon pad, but I don't see any other markings to designate the exact uh, grit or coarseness of it. But it feels like a maroon pad, but that's just, you know, my initial opinion. The top holds items such as a magnetic handle, six maroon 3M cleaning wheels, a brass brush, and a mandrel to chuck the cleaning wheels into a Dremel or a drill. Now speaking of the top, there's a container in the center that holds the cleaner for your router bits with the removable top. So we've talked about the unit itself. Let me show you how I used it. And this is an extremely dirty 8 inch dado stack blade that I'm going to clean. And as you can see, it's been a while since I've cleaned it last and come to think of it, I probably have never cleaned it. So it is time. For the cleaner, I like to use the CMT bit and blade cleaner diluted with a little bit of water. Now I talked in the opening about how I like to use this system differently than what MicroJig shows and that difference is I don't pour the cleaner in the container but rather spray it on the blades to let them soak. See I thought the system would be watertight but it turns out as you can see here it's not. So that means you have to store this container flat somewhere in the shop which I will talk about later when I wrap up my final thoughts. After spraying the cleaner on the blade, I let it set for a few minutes before rotating the blade in the opposite direction that it cuts to remove the residue. It rubs against the 3M pad to remove the pitch and resin quite nicely. If for whatever reason it doesn't remove all of the pitch, you can use the brass brush or one of the little round maroon pads to take care of it. I rotate the blade and then I repeat this process for the other side. To clean the router bits, you stick them in the foam insert on the underside of the lid and let them soak in the bit cleaner for a few minutes before using the brush or the round maroon pads to remove the pitch and resin. Now one thing to note is MicroJig recommends removing the bearing from the bits because some cleaners have a degreaser attribute, but this is an older bit that I no longer use. So the question that I had after using this product for a while is, who is this for? You know, MicroJig touts less time cleaning, more time building. While I'm talking, I want to show you my current cleaning process. Well, actually before purchasing this MicroJig system, just so that you can see how long it took and how I cleaned blades and bits before using this jig. But as hobbyists, how often do we really clean our blades? Once every two or three months at most? And how long does it take us to currently clean our blades? And is it worth spending $99 plus tax and shipping to shorten that time down to a couple of minutes? We all know that this hobby is filled with expensive jigs that have alternative methods to achieve the same results, but the expensive jig saves us time or makes it easier. So you have to ask yourself, is this another one of those jigs that you think will give you back enough shop time to warrant the purchase? Let's be honest. This is for cleaning blades that requires no special skills. You soak the blade and you wipe it off. Now, perhaps if I were running a cabinet shop where I'm paying my employees hourly to do a task, and they have to spend 20 minutes cleaning each blade, well, I may consider purchasing a system like this to save time where time is money. But for the home shop, it remains to be seen. If this system leads me to clean my blades more often since I could just grab the container and everything is right where I need it, maybe I'll change my mind, but let's talk about the container size and how you have to store it if you store the container with the fluid in it, the cleaner in it. Now you, you saw in the video, I was uh, putting the liquid in the top, it spills. So you gotta, you gotta leave it flat. Uh, here's a photo that I took showing just how large this container is. It's huge. You know, we're limited on space and this takes up quite a bit of space and I can't lay it on its side if I keep the fluid in it. And you know, draining the, the, the cleaner out of this is a massive pain in the butt. There's no easy way to do it and it makes a mess. So I opted to not keep the cleaner in the container so how much time is that really saving me if uh, I have to go grab the spray bottle and spray the, the, uh, the blades and the bits? Ultimately, these are just my first impressions and maybe my opinion will change over time. And if they do, I will let you know. 
But I want to know your opinions. Leave a comment down below and let me know how you clean your blades and if you've considered purchasing this blade and bit cleaning system. I didn't make this video to slam micro jig as that's not what I do, but I wanted to start to share some of my first impressions here on the channel and do so with an open mind. I own plenty of other micro jig products and purchased their uh, tapering jig as of a few months ago. It's a great product. Ultimately, these are just my first impressions and maybe my opinion will change over time. And if they do, I will let you know. So I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. Thanks for watching.